Welcome everybody. Here we are at Game Seven of the 1972 World Series replay at Riverfront Stadium. It's the A's versus the Reds. For the A's, it's going to be Blue Moon Odom. He was 15 and six with a 2.50 ERA in 1972. And for the Reds, it's going to be Jack Billingham, who was 12 and 12 with a 3.18 ERA. So it looks to be a a, a, a nice. Uh, matchup, pitching matchup, and uh, it should be a close game. We'll see what happens, and we're going to get started. Uh, the series is tied at three apiece. Uh, we go, we're right about to throw out the first pitch, and uh, um, and and that's about it. So let's get started. We're going to pull some FACs or fast action cards rather than the dice. Um, at least I, ha I don't have dice rolling all over the place, going foul, as some of the guys say. And uh, we're using History Maker Baseball. Um, I would say it's the, the more conservative version um, with not, not using the, the chemistry aspect of it, which is a great aspect of it. I just don't use it. It's just an extra thing for me to tabulate. And I'm doing enough already for my brain. Um, so we're going to get started. It's going to be Bert Campanaris is going to face uh, Jack Billingham. Jack Billingham is a star with a semi-control and uh, a semi-flash and a control. And... Blue Moon Odom is a semi-ace. So we're going to get started. Here goes. Here's the first pitch. 234. <clears throat> Runners on plate. No. Batter. Hot batter. Well, we don't know yet because I never rolled to see who was going to be the hot batter. Number two is the catcher. He's going to be hot. And the cold batter is going to be the second baseman. And eight is going to be the center fielder for the Reds. <coughs> Excuse me. And I skipped the pitcher. Three, because the pitcher could be changed, so I don't want to keep on rolling. All right, first baseman is a cold batter. <coughs> so at two, three, four, he's not a cold batter. I'm sorry, he's not a hot batter. So it's a pop-up to the left side, third baseman. Um, Menke's there, one away. This could be Mangual. Mangual is, let me get on this side, it's a little bit more comfortable. All right, here goes, we're going to card pull for Mangual, 144. Ask me if he's a flash, he's a semi-flash, side die says yes. So we're going to check with the umpire. Is there a questionable umpire or a lenient umpire? At home, and it's no, it's Pelicudas, and he's semi strict, semi respected. So that's strike three. Mangual strikes out. We go to Joe Rudy. Now, Joe Rudy batted 305 in uh, 1972. He had a pretty good season. Batted 305, and he had 32 doubles, nine triples, and 19 home runs. Three three five. Wild no. Sat sack. Rudy's not a sat sack. It's a line drive base hit. And the side die says he is not stoic, so he's gonna take a, a lead at first base. Looking over is Billingham. Throws over, Rudy gets back quickly. Alright, and here's the pitch from Billingham. And there goes Rudy. And he's safe under the tag. So Rudy steals a base. And it's going to be Gene Tennis. Gene Tennis has been moved to the fourth spot. Now, the story on Gene Tennis, all right, uh, he, he plays half the season, 82 games, has 200 bats, hits five home runs. In the World Series in 1972, he hits four home runs, drives in nine runs, I believe, and ends up being named the MVP. So in this game, using the actual lineups, Tennis, who has not really done that for us here, and the guy who has is not in the lineup today. So that's interesting. Mike Epstein has hit two games with two home runs, and uh, he's not in the, in the lineup, but Gene Tennis has been moved to fourth in the lineup because, of course, he's been pounding the ball in that 72 World Series. All right, so it's going to be Gene Tennis with Rudy at second base. Rudy singled and stole the base. Two out. Here's the pitch. 236. Ask me if he's double control. No, he's control. 
So it's going to be a comebacker. Billingham hand, handles it over to first to the third out. They leave one. No score going to the bottom of the first. So it's going to be Rose. It's going to be Rose, Morgan, and Tolan. Rose, Morgan, and Tolan. Here's a pitch to Rose. One, two, on a three. Both flash and fresh. Odom is not flash. 123. Nothing under the batter column, so it's a ground ball to Campanaris. Over to first, one away. Joe Morgan is the next batter. Joe Morgan, uh, 356. 356, are they the same? Morgan's a lefty, and Odom is a righty, so that's no. Those are the splits, how the History Maker Baseball handles splits. 356. Um, I mean, some guys like it on every single batter. I'm all right either way. Sometimes I get that. Sometimes I don't. 356, uh, utility or sad sack? He's neither. So it's a line drive base hit down the first base line. Cutting it off quickly and getting it in is the left fielder, Rudy. I'm sorry, that's down the right field line. Excuse me. And that's going to be the right fielder, Alu. So Morgan's on with a single. Morgan's active, so we're going to try to get a jump with Morgan. And I have a new uh, steal, stolen base attempt chart here. So if it's uh, if he's active, it's 3-9. to nine. Um, See what happens. And when he gets to the jump, so he's going to try to steal. There he goes. Now if the catcher is gold, normal, or iron, and I don't think Duncan is any of those. Let's, this is the first time Duncan catches, and he's got no... He's just normal. So it's going to be three to eight. And so let's roll to do that. Three to eight. And he's in there with a stolen base. So Joe Morgan steals second. And then on die roll two, throwing error. On die roll two to 12, throwing error, E2. Oh, I see. I don't know. I don't get that. On on E2, runner safe. Runner is a, a take additional base. So if it's according... Oh, I see. Iron. That's against an iron catcher. All right. So I, I roll two dice, and if it's uh, basically an 11, um, there would be a throwing error, and there's not. So there he is. All right, so Bobby Tolan now. Here's the pitch to Bobby Tolan. A 166. 166. Ask me if he's a workman. No, he is not. And it's a whiffer. No, he is not. So it's a ground ball to the third baseman. Bando. Looks at the runner. Two away. This will be John Bench. John Bench had quite a season. In 1972, he belted 40 home runs. Johnny Bench hit 22 doubles, two triples, 40 home runs, drove in 125, and uh, batted 270. Here's a pitch to Bench, 245. Nothing under the pitcher column. Ask me if he's a hero. He is not. Oh, actually, he should be. We should be looking at the player experience chart. So we're going to look up here. It's going to be 2 2. 2-2, two, two, it's going to be Prospect Pitcher. Odom is an icon. Otherwise, it's a pop-up. And uh, Odom is going to get it himself for the third out. And uh, they leave one. No score after one inning of play. We'll go to the top of the second. It's going to be Bando, Alu, and Duncan. Bando is a semi-gold third baseman. Three five six. Ask me if he's the same. Yes, he are. So straight. Uh, yes, he is. So strike three. Second strikeout for Billingham. It's gonna be Alu. One twenty six. One of the Alu brothers. 
fresh as he is. That ball is lined and caught by the second baseman, Morgan. Two away. Let's be Dave Duncan. This is his first at bat in the World Series. Three, four, six. Nothing under the pitcher calm. Eager. Is he eager? He's semi-eager. The side die says he is eager, so that's a ball that's lifted to center field. Measuring it is Tolan. Out number three. Go to the bottom of the second. And Tony Perez. It's one one two. Is he flash? No. Sat sack? No. Check with score. One one two. Gotta go to see safe at first. I'm gonna go to the score micro chart. I'm gonna roll oh well, actually we can pull a card. Six. And a six says error charge to the first baseman, third baseman. And that's going to be, he's a righty, so he pulled it to third base, so it's E5. So Perez is on with a on with an error to the third baseman, Bando. And it's going to be Menke now. Menke and Geronimo. We're going to have to pull Geronimo's card. We haven't done that. Geronimo's batting next. He's on deck. There he is. Geronimo's on deck. All right. Hal McCray's back in the pile, so it's going to be Menke, Geronimo, and Concepcion. And uh, here's a pitch to Menke, 266. 266, runner on first is thrown out, so there goes Perez. And here's the throw from Duncan, and he's out of second base, so he's caught stealing for the first out. And Menke, 124. Control, no, he's not control. Eager, Menke's not eager. And it's based on balls. It's a walk to Menke. One out, Menke's on at first, and it's going to be Geronimo. Cesar Geronimo. Cesar Geronimo um, played 120 games, most of them as a defensive replacement or a late-inning pinch hitter type thing because he had only 255 at-bats. Um, he had nine doubles, seven triples, four home runs, batted 275. Cesar Geronimo. He's going to go on to be the regular center fielder for the Reds in the years to come. 236. Ask me if he's double control. No, he's not. Pitcher batting. No, it's not the pitcher. 236. So it's a walk. Ball four. So back-to-back -back walks by Blue Moon Odom. And it's Dave Concepcion. Here's the pitch to Concepcion. 446. Ask me if he's a star. He is not a star. Satsack utility or patient. He is. So that's third strike called. Two outs now. First strikeout for Odom. And it's going to be the pitcher, Billingham. So 166. The workman, no. Whiffer. Billingham is a whiffer, so that's strike three. So they leave two on. No score after two innings of play. Go to the top of the third. Too many green batting. Green, I made a homemade card for green because green had only 40 at bats in 1972. He was injured most of the season. So I made a home brew card for him. And uh, 226 to green. Batter's hit by pitch. The side of the die says yes. Yeah. So, so green takes one for the team. So green is on at first. Odom's going to bunt. Going to use the four, and that's a successful sacrifice. One away now, and it's going to be Campanaris. Here's the pitch to Campanaris. Three, four, five. Is the catcher iron? No. Good eye. No, he is not. So it's a strikeout. We go to the blue right now chart. So strikeout. This is a hot pitcher. <clears throat> Excuse me. And that's the third strikeout for Billingham. It's going to be Mangual. Mangual struck out in the first inning. Here's the pitch on the right now chart. 
I'm gonna do a two six. Two six asked me he's a hot pitcher. Yes, he is. So he overpowers the batter with his best pitch, strike three. So that's the third out of the inning. We go to the bottom of the third. No score. It's gonna be P. Rose leading off. 145. Struggler, no. It's a ground ball to William is, uh, Odom is a righty, so it's a ground ball to the first baseman. Unassisted. One away. Joe, Joe Morgan is next. So we're in the bottom of the third inning. No score. Joe Morgan went out. The pitch from Odom, 256. Struggler, no. Champion or patient? He is semi-patient. The side that says he is not. Well, if you can see that. So it's infield drama. I'm going to go to infield drama. I'm going to pull a card. It's going to be 1-5 infield drama. Shortstop iron. No, he's actually semi-gold. So it's a liner. One six. It's a oh, one five. I'm sorry. One five. So it's another smooth grab of a bouncing ball. Campaneris across the diamond. Two out. It's gonna be Bobby Tolan now. Bobby Tolan grounded out to the third baseman in his first at bat. Here's a pitch to Tolan. Four six six. See, wild no. Home run king or slugger? He's neither of those. It's a line drive base hit, and he's semi active. The side of the dice says he is. So he may be on the run, try to steal second. And there he goes. And he's safe under the tag. Nice throw by Duncan. But Tolan has got the wheels. And got there. So Tolan's a second base. There's two outs, and it's John Bench. John Bench got a 270, drove in 125 in 1972, and hit 40 home runs. Here's a pitch to Bench, 155. Nothing under the pitcher chart. Ask me if he's a home run king, and as you can see, he is. So he swings on one, and he lifts it to deep center field. Back goes Mangual to the track, to the fence. He looks up, and that's gone. John Bench. Two run, home run, Reds up, two zip. Tony Perez now with the Reds leading two to nothing here in the bottom of the third on a two run home run that John Bench put into the seats in center field. And uh, 145. Is he a struggler? No. Not yet. So it's going to be a ground ball. Third baseman. Banda with a nice play. Over to first. That's the third out. We go to the top of the fourth now. It's going to be 2-0 Reds. Here we are in game seven of the 1972 World Series replay. It's been an amazing series. It's going to be Joe Rudy leading off for the A's. 366. If he's a pinch hitter, no. Fly out, center field. Tolan, he's got it measured, one away. Gene Tennis, 144. Asked me if Williams flash. He's semi flash. That says yes. So we're going to look at 44. Questionable leaning at home, no. So it's a strikeout. Fifth strikeout. For Billingham and the second out of the inning. It's going to be Bando. Bando struck out in the second inning. Here's the pitch to Bando. 234. Runners on base. No. Hot batter. Bando could be the hot batter, but he is not. Or is he... What did he do last at bat? No, he's actually cold. He struck out. So it's a pop-up to the left side. Mankey over. And that's the third out. Go to the bottom of the fourth, 2-0 Reds. 
It's going to be Menke leading off. 2-3-5. Wild, no. Eager. Is he eager? No, he is not. 2-3-5. So it's a ground ball to second baseman. Green. One away. And it's Cesar Geronimo. Cesar Geronimo walked in his last at bat. 245. Nothing under the pitcher. Is he a hero? He's a semi hero. The side that says no. This is a pop up. <clears throat> and Green takes it. Two away. It's going to be Concepcion. 245 was, uh, yeah. It's going to be on the experience chart. Concepcion, who's a semi prospect. Um, and we're going to go 2 4. 2-4 asked me, is the batter icon? He is not. So it's a ground ball. It's Campaneris. Throws on the run. Gets Concepcion by a step. And we go to the top of the fifth inning. 2 nothing. Reds. It's be Alou. Alou lined out to the second baseman. Duncan and then Green. Here's the pitch to Alou. 2-35. Two thirty-five. Wow. No, eager. He, no, he's not eager. Ground ball, second base. That's gonna be Morgan. Flips it to Perez. One away. It's be Duncan now. Duncan flew out to center field. One four six. He's flash. He's semi-flash. Side die says no. Champion. Duncan is not a champion. It's a ground ball to Morgan. Two away. And Dick Green. Dick Green was hit by a pitch. He's done very well in this series for me with my homebrew card. One twenty four. Ask me if he's control. He is control. Must be a ground ball, a chopper to shortstop. And uh, Campanaris runs in, throws on the run. I'm sorry, that's, that's uh, Concepcion. And uh, that's the third out. We go to the bottom of the fifth. Two nothing Reds. It's 5-5-5. Five, five, five. Here's the pitch. Ask me if he's an ace or a star. He's a yeah, star. He's semi-ace. So he doesn't qualify. Scrapper is the pitcher. A scrapper. He is a scrapper. It's a looping single to center field. So Billingham with a single to center. He's on it first. That's one, two, three, four. Four hits given up by Odom. He's given up two runs, one home run. He's got two strikeouts. And walks, he's going up two. He's going up two walks. Filling filling in his data. So it's going to be P. Rose now. And P. Rose is going to bunt. And that's a three on the bunt attempt. And that's a successful sacrifice. So one away. And over to second goes Billingham. Morgan. 156. Nothing under the pitcher. Ask me if he's a whiffer. He is not a whiffer. So it's outfield drama. It takes me to the outfield drama. And we're going to use number 3-5. Three, 3-5. Five. Three, five. Ask me if the left fielder is gold. And I think Rudy is actually semi-gold. Let's see if he's semi-gold. He was semi-gold at some point. He's not in this season. Okay. Um, so he's not semi-gold. So three, five, looping fly ball. He's not semi goal, so it's a looping fly ball that drops in to the gap. And Morgan hustles around first. He's going to try for second. Here's the throw. He's safe under the tag. So it's an RBI double. Around the score comes Billingham. So Morgan makes the score three to nothing. It's going to be Bobby Tolan now. 122. 
Is he a workman? No. Champ or a whiffer? Let's see. He's neither a champ nor a whiffer. So it's that ball's lined and caught by Bando for the second out. It's going to be John Bench. John Bench is one for two. He hit a two-run blast in his last at bat. So here's the pitch to Bench. 135. That's going to be an unusual play result with a red one. And a red one sends us to the... A red one and a black five. We go to the box and bogeys chart. And that's on page 13. I'm going to pull a card, 1-3. And that's a balk. So the runners advance. So over to third goes Morgan. And Odom's not happy with that call. Wants to know what he did. He's talking to the umpire. He's visibly upset. Doesn't understand. And uh, John Bench. Two outs. Run around third. 3 nothing Reds. Blue Moon Odom. Here's the pitch. 266. 266. We go back to the main chart. 266. Run around first is thrown out. He is not. Lead off batter no. So it's a fly ball lifted to right. That ball is deep. Going back is the right fielder, Alou, to the track, to the fence, and makes the catch. So Bench almost had his second home run there. A long fly ball to right field. And at the end of five innings of play, it's Reds three, A's nothing. We're going to pull out our croupier skills and show off for the cameras. I worked for 27 years as a croupier in in uh, Atlantic City, as you can see. Um, I can make these cards fit. And I, my movement is tremendously fast. In other words, I'm going so fast that it looks like the cards aren't moving at all. Um, and that's the way we do it after years and years of training. Um, so, yeah. So let's, let me show off a more fancy version of what I'm known to do here. Uh, I, was, I won quite a few awards as the most amazing hands in the business. Look at that. Look at that. Hate to brag, but it is what it is. Okay, we're ready to roll here. Amazing job of shuffling these cards. And we're going to turn them upside down and around and around. And we probably end up where we started off, but that's fine. Okay. <clears throat> so we are in the top of the sixth inning here in game seven of the 1972 World Series at Riverfront Stadium between the Oakland A's and the Reds. And the Reds are taking uh, advantage of home field advantage. And uh, they're up three to nothing. <clears throat> So it's going to be a pinch hitter for the pitcher. It's going to be Epstein. Now, you know what? We're going to hold off on Epstein because he's got some power. So for the pitcher, we're going to bring in Kubiak, Ted Kubiak. And then we're going to bring in uh, to pitch for the A's. We are going to bring in uh, let me take a quick peek at who pitched in this game. Because I've been using the same pitchers, not knowing very much. Um, who pitched in this game for the A's? Hunter was in there. Hulse was in there. Hulseman. All right, so Catfish Hunter's going to come in. I love that. Catfish Hunter is going to be the new pitcher. And Kubiak is going to lead off as a pinch hitter. So here goes Kubiak for Odom. And that's top of the sixth. All right, here's the pitch from Billingsley. 1-1-4. One, one, Fresh. And uh, let me see. In this inning, in the sixth inning, he could be fresh. The side die says no, so he is not. So it's sat sack or patient. He's semi-sat sack. So let's pull another 
And he is a sad sack. So that was what? What was that one? one four. So that's going to be a foul ball to the catcher. Back to the screen goes Bench. He's got it measured. One away. So the pinch hitter Kubiak fouls out. And it's going to be Campanaris now. Can't be 2 3 6. Double control. He's single control. So that's going to be a ground ball to the pitcher. Two away. And Mangual. Mangual's over two, struck out twice. Pitch from Billingham. Billingham. Three four six. Three four six. Nothing on the pitcher column. Eager. He is eager, so it's a fly ball. Lifted to center. Over comes Tolan. Squeezes it for the third out. Go to the bottom of the six, three nothing Reds. The A's just can't get anything going. So Kubiak is out. And we're going to have Jim Catfish Hunter as the pitcher now. Catfish Hunter is going to make him blue. I color in the boxes where the, the relief pitchers come in. And we're just going to call him Catfish. And he's going to pitch to Perez, Menke, and Geronimo. Here in the bottom of the sixth inning. Here's the pitch. From Catfish. Catfish is an ace, semi control, uh, flash, and control. 125. 125. Ask me if he's a struggler. No. Patient. Perez is not patient. So it's a ground ball, unless he's a whiffer. He's semi whiffer. Um, and the side dice says no. So it's a ground ball to the third baseman. Bando, one away, Menke now, 2-3-6, ask me if he's double control, well he's single control, so it's a ground ball, back to Hunter, over to first for the second out, it's going to be Geronimo, 2-3-4, Runners on base, no. Hot batter. Geronimo is not the hot batter. There's a pop-up to the left side. Calling everybody off is Bando. He's got it for the third out. We go to the top of the seventh inning. Three-nothing Reds. This is going to be Rudy against Billingham. Here's the pitch to Rudy. 2-4-4. Ask me if he's an ace. Billingham's not an ace. Champion. Rudy's not a champion. So it's a ground ball. Shortstop. Concepcion. One away. Tennis. Here's the pitch to tennis. Four five six. Four five six. Ask me if he's patient. He is not. Fly ball lifted to center. Tolan over. Second out. Be Sal Bando. Sal Bando. He's 0 for 2 on the day. Here's the pitch to Bando, 126. <clears throat> and uh, Billingham is going to be fresh here in the bottom of the seventh. He's got a, a, a shutout going. That ball is lined and caught by Morgan for the third out. We go to the bottom of the seventh. 3 0 Reds. <clears throat> It's going to be Concepcion. Hunter's still in there. 2-4-5. Is he a hero? No, he is not. So it's a pop-up. And it's going to be to second baseman. So, wait a second. Uh, that was 1-2-3. That was the end of the Reds. So... I don't know, so we go to the okay, we go to the top of the eighth is gonna be Alu. Oh no, wait a second, wait a second. That's gonna be five, six. Hold on, hold on. Three, four, 
five, six. Okay, so it's the bottom of the seventh, and it's Concepcion. Two, four, five. It's a pop out to the second baseman. Green. One away, and we're gonna. That's gonna take us. The two, four, five is gonna take us to the experience chart. And batting is Billingham. And it's one three five, and that's going to be a one, a black one. Uh, so that's going to be a, a a ballpark quality. We're going to look at the ballpark quality. We're going to get two numbers here. Billingham is the pitcher, so it's two five on their ballpark quality. Two five small ballpark, no. So it's a ball caught near the fence. So fly, uh, Billingham flies out to left. Got good wood on it. And it's going to be Pete Rose now with two outs. In the bottom of the, uh, it's again, seventh inning. I filled in the the uh, the box, so it threw me off. Okay, 2-2-4. Two, two, Pitching at home, no. Slugger. Not a slugger. So it's a line drive base hit to right field for Rose. And we're going to go to the right now chart for Morgan. Rose is on it first. Here's the pitch from Hunter. 3-4-4. Three, 3-4-4. Four, four. Three, four, four. Prospect. Is the pitcher a prospect? Hunter is not a prospect. So is he patient? He's semi-patient. The side of the dice says he is, so it's ball four. So Morgan manages a walk here with two outs in the bottom of the seventh inning. That's going to be Bobby Tolan. Here's the pitch from Catfish. 135. We go to an unusual play result here. It's a blue one this time with runners on first and second. Runners on first and second. We're going to use a 4-6 for that. A 4-6. Is lenient umpire at home? Uh, no, he is not. So other umpires call strike two. Batter still at bat. Okay. So two strikes on Tolan. 6-6-6. Six, six, six. Is he an ace? He sure is. So that's a fly ball lifted to right. Right fielder. Alou over for the third out. But they leave two. Here in the bottom of the seventh. And we go to the top of the eighth. And it's going to be Matty Alou, Duncan, and Green in the top of the eighth against Jack Billingham. Here's the pitch to Alou. Oh, five, five, six. Ask me if he's an ace. No, he is not. Sat sack. No. And that's going to be a ball that's hit into the gap. Hustling around first is Alou. He's going for two, and he's in under the tag for with a double. So Alou is is on with a leadoff double. That's going to spark some action in the Reds' bullpen. There's some movement out there. Don't know exactly what's going on yet. Uh, 146 with a runner on second. Nobody out. Leadoff double by Matty Alou. 146, the pitch to Dave Duncan. Ask me if he's a flash. He's semi-flash. Decided dice says no. Champion. Got a lot of stuff going on, but champion isn't one of them. This is a ground ball, second base. And over to third is Alou, so... Duncan gets him over. It's going to be Dick Green. Dick Green with his home brew card. You can see it there. It's going to be 244. The pitch from Billingham. 244. Ask me if he's an ace. And he is not an ace. Champion. Not a champion. So it's a ground ball to the shortstop. 
Unless he's a whiffer, and he's not a whiffer. So active run through base quick lands on his hole. Okay, so they're going to basically concede a run. And uh, Alu scores on the ground ball by Green. And it's going to be pinch hitter for Catfish Hunter. Pinch hitter for Hunter. And then coming into pitch for the A's is going to be Kenny Holtzman. Let's see who the A's bring in to pinch hit. Let me just double check who pinch hit in this game for the A's. Uh, you got... You got Hegan playing first base at some point, so he's going to pinch hit against Billiam. Mike Hegan. All right. And this is in the top of the eighth. And here's the pitch to Hegan. Three five five. Ask me if he's a struggler. He's not. Champion. He's semi champion. Decided that says no. So it's a ground ball. Unless he's a whiffer. Let's check and see if he's a whiffer. No. So it's a ground ball. The second baseman. Morgan. Handles it for the third out, but the A's pick up a run here in the top of the eighth inning. And score now is Reds 3 and A's 1. We go to the bottom of the eighth. We're playing game seven of the 72 World Series replay. It's going to be John Bench. John Bench is 1 for 3 on the day. Here's the pitch from Holzman. Let's pull Holzman's card out. Uh, where are they? Okay, here they are. Holtzman's in there. Game seven, so everybody can pitch today. There you go. Johnny Bench, we pulled a 2-3-3. Two, three, three. Ask me if he's a star or an ace. He's an a, a semi-ace, but the side that says no. It's a slugger. Is he a slugger? No. So it's a fly ball lifted to center. Hustling back there. A few steps back is Mangual. And he's got it. So that's one away. It's going to be Perez. 4-4-6. Four, four, Is he a star? No. Kenny Holzman is not a star. Sad sack utility or patient. He's another. neither of those. So it's a line drive base hit to right field. That's going to take us to the player experience chart. So Perez is on with his first hit. He's one for four now. It's going to be Menke under the player experience chart. It's a 2-2. Prospect pitcher, Holzman, no. He's an icon. So it's a pop-up. And that's going to be one that Holzman's going to grab himself. For the second out. That doesn't happen very often, but it's happened twice in this game. Uh, Geronimo. Run around first. Two outs. 2-4-6. Two, Ask me if he's control. He's double control. So that's a comebacker. Holtzman over to first for out number three. We go to the top of the ninth. This is last licks for the A's. They're down by two runs, three to one here in the top of the ninth inning. Okay, so it's going to be the top of the lineup for the A's, Campaneris. Billingham's still in there, but they've got a couple of bodies out in the bullpen that are ready to roll. So uh, any action, any, any, any offense um, on the A side is going to be, is going to see a, a, some relief coming in for Billingham. But he's done a pretty good job so far. He's given up one hit. Two hits so far in this game. 
in eight innings. And he's given up only one run. He's walked. None from what I can see. And he struck out uh, five. Okay. So here's Campaneris. These are the last licks for the A's. They're down by two runs in game seven. Four, four, six. So they asked me if he's a star. He is a star. So that's a weak chopper to the second baseman, Morgan. Over to first, one away. So the Reds are two outs away from rewriting history and winning the 72 World Series. Love when we get a chance to rewrite history, but let's not count our eggs before they are hatched. Here's Angel Mangual, who's 0 for 3. And it's 1-2-3. One, 1-2-3, two, three. One, two, three. ask me if he's both flash and fresh. Well, we don't know. Let's see what the decided die says. Uh, the decided die says he is not. He is not fresh. Oh, actually, he's definitely not fresh because he already gave up a run. One, two, three. So it's a ground ball. Again, hit at Concepcion. And Concepcion rifles it across the diamond. Two away. Now it's up to Joe Rudy. Rudy is one for three. Single and stole a base in the first inning. And Billingham is on the verge of... A victory here in Game 7 of the 1972 World Series. He's one out away from a complete Game 2 hitter with five strikeouts. Let me double check that. He, he has hit one batter with a pitch, and that was Green in the third inning. But he's only given up two hits. A single to Rudy in the first and a double to a leadoff double to Alou in the eighth. So he's pitched a heck of a ball game. So he's here's the last batter, Rudy, Joe Rudy. Here goes. 3-3-4. Three, three, they asked me if he is he an ace or a star. Well, Billingham is an is a star. So that's a pop-up to the right side. And that's gonna be Perez calling for it. He squeezes it, and that's the third out. The Cincinnati Reds celebrate on the field. Billingham is being mobbed by his teammates. It is chaos, and the Reds have won the 1972 World Series by a score of 3-1. to one. And the win is going to go to Jack Billingham. Gives up uh, pitches 9, goes the complete game, 2 hits, 1 run, no walks. And the loss is going to go to Blue Moon Odom. And Odom went uh, five innings, completed five innings. And there you go. Here at Riverfront Stadium with the home field advantage. The Reds come back from a 3-2 to two deficit and win the two last games of the series. And they win it. We rewrite history. MVP for this series, uh, it's a tough one. It's a tough one. Probably, let's take a look at the pitching. Billingham won one game. Let's see what he did in his other game. Or was that the first game that he pitched? No. He won his first game. He went seven and a third. Gave up six, uh, eight hits. One earned run, no walks, and four strikeouts. So you know what? Jack Billingham is going to be the MVP. So Billingham is the MVP of our series. Once he goes 2-0, and comes up huge in Game 7. And that's all, folks. Talk to you soon. We are going to Stratomatic next, unless unless I have, I want to play the early mid-60s, mid-60s World Series, because I've played everything up to 74. I don't want to do 75. Because there's too much buildup to that great World Series. It's one of the greatest World Series ever. And I don't know if I can get anywhere near topping that. Don't want to go that far yet. So I'm going to go, I'm going to backtrack a little bit. I'm going to see if I have the HMB cards for the 66. I've played the 67. I don't want to play that again right now. So I'm going to look at 66, 65, and 64. I don't know if I'll go any 
earlier than 64 because then I'll start getting players from the 50s and 40s that I, I may not uh, know. And I want to learn the players mostly from the, uh, you know, the 60s players and the 70s players. Um, so I'm going to take a look at what I have in terms of cards and what uh, I may have to go to Stratomatic because I know I have a couple of sets of Stratomatic from the mid-60s, the World Series teams. So we may have to go to play Stratomatic, but we don't know. Let's, let's, I'm going to take a look and see what I have on History Maker Baseball. All right, guys, take care. This is, uh, what time is it? It took us 50 minutes to run this game. Uh, it's 5 in the morning, 5 a.m. on a Saturday morning. I have work in a couple of hours, so I may take another nap or I may play another game. I don't know. Who knows? I'm just going in for a couple hours, picking up a check, and then uh, coming back home to play some more tabletop baseball. I have to go see my son play ball, varsity ball, high school ball later on in the day. Uh, and uh, say goodbye to all. This is uh, Combat Painter signing off from uh, Tabletop Winter Baseball. And we've been playing most of the World Series using a variety of game systems um, from the 60s and the 70s, which uh, a period which I'm totally enamored with right now because of just how different it is from today's ball game. Even though I love today's ball game as well, uh, it's just uh, I go. It takes me to another time. I'm learning the the era and the pitchers and and uh, who the great hitters were and and all this stuff. And it's just a a a, a trip through a, a time travel adventure, you know, into the 60s and 70s. All right, so I'm not going to ramble anymore. Take care, guys. Bye now.